So recently, I've been doing a bit of cleaning and consolidating around my place, and I have an older computer that's just been lying around and collecting dust. I was thinking that I would just part it out and sell it, but it occurred to me that maybe I should try multiboxing on it before I do that. And so I cleaned it up, threw a fresh install of Windows on there, copied over my Icebox's profile, and fired up a character set. And what you're seeing in front of you is exactly that. Now, of course, I made a few tweaks to my slot swap macro, and I'm only running the game on a 1920x1080 display that has been scaled up by my capture card because I, I was too lazy to change the settings before recording, which is why this video is in 4K. But to my surprise, this older machine handles five game clients incredibly well. Now, it's an older Intel i7-2600K with 32 gigs of RAM, two Intel 510 series SSDs, and two GTX 580 3GB GPUs, not to be confused with AMD's much newer RX 580 GPUs. In fact, the GPUs in this machine are so old that Nvidia dropped support for them back in early 2018, almost a year ago, and the game warns me that my driver is not compatible, even though everything still seems to work just fine. Now you can see the video settings that my main client is running, and all the others are at their lowest settings other than texture resolution, which is still on high, and render scale, which is down to 10%. Foreground frame rate is 60, while background frame rate is 20, and Personally, I would say that these are some respectable settings for such an old machine, especially while running multiple game clients, and I would definitely say that, in terms of both performance and visual fidelity, the experience is more than tolerable. Now, Voldoon being a desert zone doesn't require too many resources, and so I decided to see how well the machine would perform if I moved to a denser zone, like Zaldazar. Unfortunately, upon entering the zone on my flight, I was completely maxing out the GPU at this resolution, and I felt the effects of that immediately upon landing. Neither dropping my video settings nor the background frame rate helped the issue, and so in order to free up some resources, I had to switch up my window layout to run at a lower resolution. Luckily, this did free up enough resources to where I didn't even have to adjust my video settings, and so I started running around in Zoldazar to see how everything would perform. Just like before, I was quite satisfied with the performance that I was getting on this older hardware, and I had no issues going through my typical gathering route in this zone. Up to this point, I was still somewhat in disbelief that this hardware was able to handle multiple game clients as well as it was, and so there was, there was only one other area for me to test at this point. Naturally, I am referring to the capital city, where even modern-day hardware struggles to achieve a solid frame rate, and I was a little fearful that Desara Lore would just melt this setup. However, I was once again proven wrong, and the system was able to handle it quite well. Now, to be fair, I am running at a lower frame rate, and of course Desara Lore might not be as intense as Boralus or even New Dalaran from Legion, but nonetheless, it is a capital city that is highly detailed and has plenty of players running around in it. The lower frame rate that I was getting was most likely caused by the fact that I was completely maxing out my VRAM. Again, these GPUs are only equipped with 3 gigabytes or 3000 megabytes, and you can see in the overlay that I'm pushing beyond 2900 megabytes, which means the memory of the GPU is maxed out and it's likely swapping textures in and out of the system RAM at this point, which is slow and causing the drop in frame rate. I maybe could have slightly alleviated the issue by dropping the texture resolution on the background game clients, but it wasn't something that crossed my mind at the time, especially since performance was, for the most part, satisfactory. So I can't say for sure whether dropping the texture resolution would have affected anything. Now, the main reason I did this was to simply check whether or not someone could multibox this game while using either old hardware or more modern hardware that would be considered lower tier. So many times we tell people that they need somewhat powerful hardware to achieve good results when multiboxing, uh, specifically World of Warcraft, but it seems like you can get by fairly well without having to spend your life savings on a new computer. However, you have to consider that this hardware, while currently classified as old, was once the best that you could buy. And if this was mid-grade hardware back in its day, I wouldn't be able to do this right now. Because if we just compare this hardware to a slightly lesser offering from that same time period, 
then that would probably be something like a 2500K CPU, 16 gigs of RAM, and something like a GTX 570. And with that hardware, I don't think you would still be able to multi-box on it today. So for example, the 2500K didn't come with hyperthreading, and I'd be missing four out of my eight threads that you can see in the overlay. Likewise, 16 gigs of RAM, again, as you can see, would barely be cutting it. And even today, people constantly talk about how 16 gigabytes just isn't enough when trying to run five game clients with anything else running in the background. And of course, a GTX 570 only had 1.2 gigabytes of VRAM, which is clearly not enough. And even the first gen GTX 580s only had 1.5 gigs themselves. These three gigabyte models didn't come out until a little bit later. So even though this hardware is still capable, it's why I always recommend that people buy something, at the very least, a little bit better than the lowest tier hardware that is available. Of course, assuming you can afford it, and assuming you can wait another paycheck or two to put forward toward that better hardware. You know, you may end up buying low tier hardware that is barely adequate for running multiple game clients today. And when tomorrow rolls around, like the next expansion, that machine may then be incapable of providing satisfactory performance without further upgrades. Now, before we bring this video to a close, I do have two GPUs in this machine, and up to this point, I was only testing with one of them. And so I wanted to see if enabling SLI would help me run at a higher resolution in Zoldazar, where before a single GPU just wasn't cutting it. Obviously, SLI does not increase my total VRAM, and so where I'm VRAM limited, like in Dazara lore, SLI isn't going to help, but I wanted to check the performance in Zoldazar nonetheless. So I reverted my window layout back to the larger variant, and with SLI enabled, I was able to cruise through Zoldazar, whereas before, with a single GPU, I was not. Now, I just want to make it clear, as I did in my previous multi-GPU performance video, that SLI is, more often than not, not worth the money. Like I said, I have an entirely separate video that talks about both the benefits and drawbacks of multi-GPU setups, so please check that out if you're interested. But as I conclude in that other video, this is an area where SLI is beneficial. So that's it for this one. Just a quick overview on using older hardware to multi-box before I pull it apart and sell it off. And so with that said, my name is Mirai, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.